All right, everybody, we got another project we're just about to get through with. One of the kids' old jobs from way back he got started on. It's just a regular hood. We've raised it up two inches on the end. It ain't much, but it was free. Thank y'all. So Papa T's been hard at work. Now, I've got a couple clips from where he was working on this thing, but here's what I want you guys to know. This particular hood, if you remember, uh, we started working on this thing a while back. Like, I don't know, maybe two years ago, three years ago, probably three years ago now. And I actually got the idea from a, a good friend of mine that has since passed away. A buddy of mine, Philip Herman, started a project like this and I loved the look of this hood, the way it bubbled in the center. Um, it was a factory hood. I said, you know what, I'm gonna give it a try. So we did and I wasn't able to finish it. I didn't have a good enough uh, welder at the time. All I had was flux core. So anyway, long story short, we put this thing up kind of in storage over at our land in Georgia. Papa T grabbed it and this is what we got. Now, I know if you look closely, you can tell this thing's not super even across the top, but he basically put this thing in primer to keep it from rusting up. So it's not done yet. But overall, look at that. I mean, it's not far off, guys. There's some waves in it, a couple little low spots, but check that out. Now, here's the cool thing. This, the bubble cow. Oh, man, that's so freaking cool. Hoods are like 800 bucks by the time you pay shipping. This hood cost zero dollars. Let's look at what we did here. So when I first started on this hood, all I did was take the edge here and just cut it, right? I cut it right here and we just lifted the hood up and we cut some wedges to weld in. So as you can see, this thing's welded in both sides. I've got a nice little, little bubble right here in the center. Super freaking cool. I love it. We've still got a little bit of work to do but I think we can absolutely make this thing nice and square. Even if it's not 100% perfect, it's definitely better than buying a brand new $800 hood, okay? So the only thing we got like is a couple little issues right in there and maybe like one over here, right, right there. There we go. So look, guys, I've, I've heard for so long, this is no longer a budget channel. This is no longer this or that. I don't buy into all that shit, okay? Look, here's the deal. Everybody's on a budget. Budgets change. I wanna, I wanna remind you guys of this. So let's say you're on a shoestring budget. And I don't know, let's say you get a bonus at work or you get your income taxes in and now you've got a few thousand dollars that you can spend on something. If you go out and you buy a part that normally you wouldn't buy, are you no longer a budget-minded person? No. You're still a budget person, but you got a little bit of extra money and you splurged. That's what I want to remind you guys of, okay? We're going to splurge from time to time. But we're still a budget channel because I can't go out and build a $100,000 car just because I want to. I physically don't have the money, right? So I can't do that. So here's the thing. None of that really matters, but a lot of you seem to get caught up in it. Here's the thing. Do what you can do when you can do it. Know your limits, but save money when you can. So do stuff like this. It's fun, even if it doesn't work out in the end, at least you tried it. And here's the thing, you're gonna learn something in the process of doing whatever it is that you do. You're gonna learn something, whether it's good or bad, okay? I just think this is badass. So I'm so glad that Papa T went over and grabbed this hood and started on it. So we got a little bit of tweaking right there in the center. We can probably bring that over the center up a little bit, but that's all gonna be embracing. Uh, I love it. Absolutely love it. And it's a factory hood. So just to show you guys, again, it's a factory hood. So you retain all of your bracing and all that. Now you can cut the bracing and lift it up to match the hood if you want to. There's there's a bunch of stuff. This is just a preliminary kind of like, let's throw some primer on this thing and get it going. But he's worked his butt off. And what I'm gonna do now is show you guys some of the video that he sent uh, to me through the process. And I'll try to show you a little bit of the old footage of us working on this hood and getting it started. So shout out to Papa T. He's been awesome with video and all this stuff and sending me some clips and whatnot. I know the quality isn't the best, but that's just the way it is when you send things over messenger or something like that, okay? But enjoy the footage. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. You guys keep grinding. Never give up and never let anybody tell you you can't do something. 
And as always, thanks for watching.